What up, YouTube? It's Chucky. Today we're back with some more beat breakdowns. Today we're doing the song called Girls Cry 2 by Dina Yada. I'm breaking down pretty much every song she did on the project, so subscribe if you want to see more. Welcome to my FL Studio project for this song. Deja Vu started this song with Dina in Antwerp back last year, I think. He started with this loop. I don't know if he made himself or it's a splice loop, but anyways, it don't matter. We started with this loop. It sounds super fire. They already made this song and working on the new shit with Dina this year, I always kept liking this song, although it sounded really different. Like the drums was different than that that's when i wanted to put the song on the project but i decided to redo the drums with my new drum kit which is also out right now by the way because i wanted it to sound more up to date 2023 sound uniform with the rest of the project have certain sounds there so yeah even for you guys if you want to upgrade your sounds and your beats link in the description below my new 2024 drum kit it's out now go get it started off with this loop sounds like this super fire style of deja vu they made the whole structure for the song the whole you know, build up structure. I didn't change anything about that. I just changed the drums. So this is the first layer. And then there's the second layer like this. And then Deja Vu added this sweeping top melody, which I really love. Like I, that's one of my favorite things in the beat. <sighs> Crazy. I think that was like what I used to make the drums on. I am going to turn on some of the perks Deja Vu added. These are the three perk layers Deja Vu added. First, just like that, dry. And then there's two other perk layers that Deja Vu added, but then I added some extra delay on there, which makes them super spacey and also go hand in hand with this spacey vibe of the song. I really love these open heads with the delay. I used comeback kit, a 1-8 delay, and it also ping pong. And then same on this open head. So it goes. And that open head going shh, 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 shh is crazy. Then I use the hi-hat, this hi-hat right here. So here I basically just use the lower note to create like a little rhythm in the hi-hat, especially at the end, like... It just makes every loop transition good into the next loop, so I don't know, I just like these hi-hats, simple. Then I added the clap, it's two different claps, just one counter clap and one regular clap, which is here. I love that last cut, cut. I love that. And then with the counter clap that you see here in the other layer, I really like it. Sounds like this. See that counter clap just comes in real nice. Especially at the end with this one and then the double clap is crazy. Okay, so this shaker right here in my kit also sounds fucking crazy so this also kind of like made this beat because it's like like that shaker in combination with the open head and the delay is crazy to me like. and then there's basically the 808 pattern where i use two different 808s to interact with each other so basically how i structured it is there's the ctm 808 that does a certain motion and then there's the kick or the 808 that changed so first part of the verse it will be kick ctm then hook it will be 808 ctm and then the verse will be kick ctm again so this is the ctm pattern And then with the kick, sounds crazy. You know, the last double one gives it like a, I don't know, I just like it. And then see when we go to the hook, it, the kick goes and the 808 goes instead and it's just. I feel like that is pretty much everything I added to the beat. There's this part in the verse that originally had more bass like this. Yeah, so the bass was like this, but I felt like, okay, that's cool, but I want to have it mixed with the CTM. So I basically cut it out and had the first note be the original bass and then have the CTM fill that. So it sounds like this, which is really cool. Bridge. There's a little 
glitchy train sound effect with some shaper box. Little cut. And then at the end, there's a little voice note I captured off a video I made on my phone when I was in Paris with Dina. Where are we going? We going to a fashion show. We in Paris. I'm here with and that's pretty much everything we did on the beat. So yeah, shout out Deja Vu, shout out to me, shout out to Dina. This is a Girls Cry 2 Logic project. I record in Logic because I just prefer my workflow for recording and engineering in Logic compared to FL Studio. Then we mix in Pro Tools always. This is the beat. I put it in here and then this is the hook and this is all the vocal layers. I feel like the most interesting part is definitely the hook because we added a lot of layers there and then maybe some on the first. So I'll just play you guys the song. I'm sad, I'm broken. Pretty straightforward, that's just, you know, main vocal layer. If you want to get like the in-depth vocal mixing previous video where I shared the whole vocal chain and everything, or an upcoming mixing video where I go through some of the mixing shit together with Dawson that helped mix this project with me. So this is the hook, uh, this is the first part, pretty easy. Girls cry too, that's okay, that's all right. And then this little backing, which fills it perfect, it fills the holes. And then part two of the hook has a lot of layers, which I like. Layer girls one. Girls cry too. Huh? Girls cry too. Girls cry too. Huh? 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 Girls cry too. And I like these two layers because one of them is ha huh, ha, huh, and the other one's ha. Huh. But then together, I'll even mute the main layer. Together, they just sound crazy. Uh, And then with the girls cry too over it. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. And then this layer. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. This is just a girls cry too layer. And then we added a left and a right layer. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. And then one more. Yeah. Girls cry too. Yeah. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. Girls cry too. And then there's one more thing I want to put your attention on, which is here on this verse part. I like these backings a lot that we did. It's just a double layer. So two layers, two separate layers, one left, one right. Because we did the two layers and then there's this one backing layer and then it just sounds so fire. It sounds wide and nice, especially also in the live shows, we turn them up and it sounds fire. Crazy, and then here's just a lot of delays going on, uh, and some flanger or phaser or whatever it is. And I just basically cut some vocals out from the hook and put them again here with some effects to create this bridge vibe. <laughs> Cause this bottom two is just the delay, it's just this. Deja Vu probably did this also, but. And then girls cry too, 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 too. And then, you know, just some cut out, cut with the layers experiment and create some fire shit. And that's how we did the song. I really, really, really love this song. I'm so grateful to work on this. Shout out Dino, shout out Deja Vu, shout out me. I really actually like this song. I've listened to the song so many times and I still like it. Like I've made it, rehearsed it, mixed it, mastered it. Like, but I still like it so much. I hope you guys enjoy too. I hope you guys learned something. If you wanna get my drum kit, it is definitely the best drum kit get for 2024 if you want to make this type of music thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much take care